Hey girl, hey, I'm back. I have missed you, homegirl. Have you missed me? Let me know down in the comments. I am Sky Ajane. For those of you who is this your first time on this channel, stick around. I'm sure you're going to like it. But let's get right into this video. This is kind of more of like a girl chat and we'll catch up a little later on. You know, I have been gone for two months. It's been a whole two months. That's crazy. But anyway, I just want to talk about traditional femininity because I've been seeing a lot a lot on online and you know it's doing a lot more harm than it is good because i think the lines are getting blurred about what femininity is because you know we have all these trends like that girl soft girl rich girl main character wow these are great you know they have a lot of good content surrounding that type of you know woman i think it's very surface level Meaning it doesn't get to the core. It doesn't teach you about the character of a feminine woman. It's more about the beauty and the luxuries and all those things. Which, those are important. But like I said, those are not the core things about being a feminine woman. When we talk about femininity, you cannot leave God out of it. Because God created it. God made us feminine. So when you talk about the characteristics of femininity, like being a God-fearing woman, being nurturing, being loving, respecting yourself and others. And I say respecting yourself with so much emphasis because we'll get into that. But just being an all-around good person, I think that's where the line has been blurred between, you know, the trends I mentioned versus true traditional femininity. One of the reasons I think the trends nowadays are more harmful is because it no longer allows us to be set apart you now see women who are all the same you know the the hot girl the city girl the that girl the main character they all have the same characteristics which are kind of the opposite of god they're more like self-seeking more more all about self and not like giving back and being a light to the world and i think that's where again lines are being blurred because you have so much of that type of content and so little of true femininity the core values of being a feminine woman and one thing that i need people to understand is that feminine women and christian women are not independent of each other because God created us to be feminine, so you can't leave him out of that. And that's why a lot of characteristics of feminine women align with characteristics of Christian women because they go together. They are hand-in-hand. -hand. Like I said, they are not independent of each other. You cannot necessarily be one without the other because God created the characteristics and instilled, us, instilled them in us naturally. We, that is where we naturally thrive in our femininity because God made us that way. That's what makes a feminine woman set apart because as Christians, we are to be set apart. We should not be conforming to the patterns of the world. We should be, like I said, set apart like God intended. We are not supposed to be the things that we see in the world. So that's why I think those trends are more harmful because it's teaching selfishness. It's teaching to... Put yourself above others. A lot of the issue comes from there is not a lot of representation, specifically black representation in the feminine community. Because let's just face it, we were not brought up as black women to be feminine. We were brought up and it's from generation to generation. A lot of women have seen their moms be single mothers and struggling and doing everything on her own. So you see that, you think that's natural, you think that's okay, you think that you can do everything, be everything, because that's what you saw your mom did. But your mom did it because she had to. Your mom probably also didn't have someone to teach her, like, oh, this is how a feminine woman carries herself. So you have more content catering to being that girl and being a soft girl and pretty much being selfish in a sense. And you don't have enough of people teach you core values like characteristics, how to cure yourself, how to be loving, how to be nurturing, how to take care of yourself, but also be confident and have your own mind and be set apart. That's why it's so important that you all engage with channels like mine and the Feminine Fancy or the Dr. Dab Show. Those are just some channels that I watch that actually teach women core values and how to be 
a better woman, a better Christian, all of those things, because it'll give us visibility on platforms like YouTube and other platforms where we, you know, we're, that we scroll on all day. It will give us that visibility and that way the representation will start to increase and that way you will be able, more women will be able to learn how to nurture their femininity, how to be loving, how to be soft, how to stop doing the toxic things that we see on social media when it comes to hot girls and city girls and all of those type of girls, the ice spices, the, all of that type of stuff. It'll show that there is another side. There is another way. You don't have to be like that to get what you want. A lot of that stuff that is more, you know, popular now, more culture, which the culture is toxic. <laughs> and that is just, that is just a fact. As a Christian person, as a Christian woman, you should not be okay with the things that you're seeing in culture because it's toxic. It's misleading to younger girls. A lot of young girls don't have proper role models because this is the main thing you see so not only is culture toxic but there are some feminine gurus or femininity life coaches who are fake <laughs> like that's why it's so important for you to have your own discernment people are telling you what to say how to act what to do but they are also not living it themselves something that has bad fruit cannot bear good fruit so they can be telling you all the things and it sounds good but eventually their character their true character their true selves will come out and you will realize that they were living a lie it'll make you lose trust so again discernment is so so important so you can really you have you'll understand like when you're watching someone like i've had people comment on my post saying that they can feel my energy and they just see christ and see my light and all those things you will know when you have discernment you will know who you should and should not be listened to because like i said they are bearing bad fruit okay and you will be able to see that that's why it's so important to guard your eyes and your ears because you don't want to be caught up in toxicity thinking that, okay, this is what it's, this is how it is. It's just how it's going to be. No, like I said, we, you are to be set apart as a Christian feminine woman, okay? So the things that you're seeing on social media, limit your access to certain things. Like me personally, I don't follow things like the shade rule. The, I've said this on previous videos. I don't follow those type of pages because at the end of the day, it's toxic. It does not align with what with my beliefs, my faith, and all of that. So I don't even want to see it out of sight, out of mind. I'm looking at things of feminine characteristics, feminine values, Christian values, all of those things. That's what you're going to see. And of course, beauty. But that's what you're going to see on my timeline. And I'm following people who I can just feel their spirit, feel their energy. The Holy Spirit will guide you the more, you know, lean into Christ and your feminine nature You'll be a, you will learn and gain that discernment. People are selling you a dream but living a lie. So and that discernment is going to help you differentiate facts from lies. <laughs> the truth versus a lie. And yeah, if this video resonated with you in any way, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like and comment, join the community. Because clearly if you made it all the way to the end of this video, you like what you're hearing, you like my energy, I like yours because... You stayed and watched to the end. Of course, I, I like your energy, young girl. But thank you all so much, and I will see you in my next video.